everyone, Brennan Mejia here, the Red Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Charge. I do quite a few Comic Cons these days, and I wanted to go over some of the most popular questions I get asked at these conventions, in case you never get to ask me in person yourself. Let's get into it. All right, so first question is, if you could be any color ranger, which ranger color would you be, if not red? So this is a hard one because blue is my favorite color, but if I came back as like a six ranger in another season, I think it'd be cool to be a pink ranger. You know, I'm, I'm wearing pink right now. It works with my skin tone. If not pink though, probably platinum because there hasn't been a platinum ranger yet. There's been titanium, there's been steel, there's been graphite, there's been silver, there's been mercury, but there hasn't been a platinum ranger. So I think it'd be super cool to like be a super precious metal as the six ranger. All right, this question is, who's your favorite Power Ranger that's not in your season? I really enjoy Jason Bont's performance in Power Rangers Time Force as Wes. Uh, I just actually I wrote backstory for my own character Tyler Navarro and who I wanted him to kind of like have the energy of and it was Tom Welling from Smallville, uh, Jason Fonts, and then obviously my own element so I actually was inspired by his performance in the way I played Tyler. Um, if we're talking about my favorite suit design though, I would say Zeo Gold. That is my favorite hands down suit. It just looks incredible. Uh, this question, your favorite episode of Dino Charge. So I would probably say the season finale of season one of Dino Charge is my favorite that we got to work on because I got to go on Sledge's ship, which was super cool. Uh, we filmed that on second unit. So first unit is more of the acting heavy stuff typically and second unit tends to be stunt heavy, but sometimes they'll bring the actors onto second unit if that's where like the stunt people are. And Sledge's ship happened to be stunt centric with all the stunt people in the monster suits. So it was really awesome getting to run on the ship and like looking for my Energem and fighting Sledge. Um, and then obviously the episodes where we get Miss Morgan becoming our Purple Ranger as well. All right, this question, can you do a backflip? Oh. Yes. This question is, if you could work with any other Power Ranger cast or team, who would you team up with? So I always like to joke, I'd work with whatever one is going to be next on TV so we get to come back. <laughs> but if we're being real, like a pre-existing team, I think teaming up with Time Force would be cool, but if they could kind of be the glue that brings all the Dino teams together, kind of like we did with Beast Morphers, but now we get Dino Fury or Cosmic Fury, whatever Fury in there as well. So we can just complete that Dino team. All right, this question is, would you come back to Power Rangers if given the opportunity. Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously it would depend on where I am filming other projects, but if I'm open and available to go film, heck yeah. They don't film in New Zealand anymore, I heard. They got rid of production there, so I don't know where Power Rangers would even go to next, but my guess would either be somewhere in America or Canada. Both are much closer and much easier to go to versus flying to the other side of the planet. This question is, what would you change about the show, if anything? So for me, I feel plot wise, the reason Tyler's dad goes missing for 10 years is because he runs away once he bonds to his Energem and becomes a Power Ranger because bad guys are tracking him and he doesn't want to endanger his family. Sounds noble, but I'm like, he couldn't text us or like leave a note or something instead of just disappearing for 10 years. I personally would have liked if he had amnesia or something and he didn't know we were his family. Like it just would have made more sense to me. Like I didn't know I had a family, hence why I didn't contact you. And then seeing me again, randomly fighting a monster sparked his memory or something like that. All right, this question is, did you watch Power Rangers growing up? I did actually. Not every Power Ranger actor watches Power Rangers. I mean, it's not really a requirement like to be in this show or cinematic universe, you had to have been a fan. But hands down, yes. Uh, I was three when Power Rangers came out and I watched it all the time. I had a bunch of toys and Megazords and uh, my buddy who lived down the street would come over and we'd like hang out and he'd stay the night and we'd put all the Megazords together and then we would play the Super Nintendo game. I can't remember the name, but it's like you could be the Megazords fighting each other or against the monsters after make my monster grow, that whole thing. Yes. I was and am a fan of Power Rangers, even before I had my own helmet. So this question is, did you do your own stunts? 
Uh, no, I didn't, and most rangers don't, be, like all of us actually. We have a stunt team, uh, even if we can do stunts and cool things like handstands, typically there's not enough time for us to film our own stunts because there's two units, so we do acting on one and stunts on the other to save time. Also, in case we get hurt, that would stop all of production, so it's just better for them to have us have stunt doubles even if we can do stuff. But there is an episode where they do let me do handstands at least, so try to find it if you haven't seen it. This question, did I ever meet Haim Saban, the creator of Power Rangers? I did, just once. So when we got cast in Dino Charge, myself and the other cast members, or the core team anyway, not all 10 of us, we got to go to his building in LA and we had this big table and we met with him and he basically congratulated us and then gave us some advice and uh, yeah. So then we went to New Zealand shortly after that to film the show and I've never met him again. <laughs> all right, this question, who would win in a fight? Dino Charge team versus plug in whatever Power Ranger team they're talking about. I always pretty much say Dino Charge because there's 10 of us. I mean, even if you argue this Red Ranger could beat me or that Blue Ranger could beat whatever, there's 10 of us, I'm sorry. Like all of us are good enough to be Power Rangers and I feel like just by sheer numbers, we win. So, ha. This question is, did I get to keep any props from the show? I did actually, here's my Energem. So this is the one I wore, it's magnetic. The paint's kind of coming off the top. They would actually have to tape these to our chests under our shirts because when we'd go running and fighting, oftentimes they would fall off the magnet. But uh, yeah, I love this thing, it's pretty cool. I don't take it with me to cons very often anymore because I don't want to lose it. But if it's a local convention, sometimes I'll wear it. All right, this question, what was it like living in New Zealand? Did you enjoy it? Yes, I love New Zealand so much. Honestly, I used to joke around and still do sometimes that I wanna retire there. It's beautiful, life is a little slower pace than at least Southern California, which is kind of like busy, 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 always doing something productive. And their restaurants literally didn't have like, okay, this restaurant's open till 10 p.m. every night. It was open until they just wanted to close, which is annoying when you're trying to make reservations, but it's also really cool. Like if they're not getting a ton of business, they're like, okay, we're just gonna close up for the day or they wanna go home early, they do. And it's just accepted there. And it's was such a culture shock. Cause like I go after work and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna eat blah, blah, blah for dinner. And it was closed. And I was like, huh, okay, I'm not having that for dinner. All right, this question is, did you watch your Super Sentai counterpart to your season, Kyo Ruger? Yes, I did. So Super Sentai is the source material for Power Rangers, and then they bring it to an American adaptation in English, and then we shoot new scenes, but they splice the footage. So in Kill Ruger, yes, the storyline is different, but I love their theme songs. I actually have some of their songs in my workout playlist on Spotify, and in Kyo Ruger, uh, the Red Ranger, he goes by Daigo, well his name's Daigo, but he calls himself King. And I just loved his energy in it. Uh, he had an episode where he like ripped his shirt off and I kept wanting us to have an episode where I could rip my shirt off, but they never wrote it, but I did ask for it. Did I like Dino Charge season one or Dino Supercharge our second season more? I like Dino Charge more, personally. I felt like the whole missing dad arc was cool and once we finally found him, I don't know, I just, I, I liked the, the mystery leading up to it versus he's here and then he runs off again because in the Japanese footage he wasn't in as much and they didn't shoot a lot of original footage with him. So it just storyline wise, he's like, yeah, I gotta go help find the other Energem and then he was just gone. But we've been missing you for 10 years and you're gone again, like, I just, yeah, that's all. All right, this question is, who do you get along with the most in your cast? I mean, there's quite a few of them that I really enjoy hanging out with, but the one I ended up hanging out with the most would be Yoshi. Um, I've seen him twice this week, actually, and we don't even live in the same city. But when we did live together, we would hang out a lot. You know, we played video games together, we'd go work out together, and then obviously we would work together in Power Rangers. This question, did I ever date the Pink Ranger Shelby? No, because I was already engaged when we booked Power Rangers, and my fiance came with me, and so just, no, I wasn't available, so I dated no one other than who I was already with. <laughs> this question is, if you could switch roles with any ranger in your season, who would you switch with? I mean, blue is my favorite color, so blue ranger, but I don't wanna be a caveman. I'd probably switch with our gold ranger because it would be cool to be a knight. The knight of Xandar. I don't know, I mean, he auditioned for red. I never got to audition for gold. Do you think we could have pulled off uh, being each other's characters? Let me know in the comments below. Hello, hello, hello.